Hey everybody, it's Sarah from Blue Rose Bar, and today we are gonna do just a little quick demonstration on the Rad Roller. Um, it's a roller that I actually got from my physical therapist when I was having um, some hip problems. And I've always been a huge fan of rolling in general, um, so I own different kinds of rollers, and they're all great. What's really great about this one is that it's a lot smaller and a lot more portable, and you can do everything basically with your um, with your upper body. So this piece is actually two, and you can put them together to use it as one. You can use just the rolling stick. You can use just this overlay um, rubber um, textured um, roller. Great, like you can lie down it on your back, up against the wall, lots of different things. But what I'm gonna show you today with the Rad Rod, Rad Roller, Rad Rod, is um, some leg um, rolling out. So with the Rad, <laughs> rad rod um, you can sit on a chair you can sit on the floor but um, you want to bend bend your leg as you're seated and we're gonna start with some quad rolling so with that it's, it's like a rolling pin with that rolling pin rad rod you're just gonna roll okay I start right above the knee right above the bony part of the knee and just up and down and you can apply as much pressure as you want um, I feel lots of lumps and bumps in there for different reasons It'll break up scar tissue. If you are an easy bruiser, first of all, make sure you do check with your doctor before you start rolling because sometimes if you're on blood thinners or if you've been kind of blood or vascular issues, um, you could potentially create a problem. Um, so I've, as always, check with your doctor, but I go through periods of time where I would bruise really, really easy. And then now, the last couple months, I'm not. And I've switched up some things in my diet. Um, being that I suffer from chronic Lyme disease, Bartonella, um, who knows what was causing it all. But now I'm just kind of flipped and I'm getting the outside of my thigh up to my hip. And again, just adding as much pressure as I want. I tend to get a little bit deeper in there. It gets a little, a little painful, but not like a painful where I feel like I'm hurting myself. Just a, it's kind of a, a good pain. Um, I have some knee issues I've had to work through, so I really focus on just rolling around the knee. Okay, so you can do that for a minute or two, a couple minutes, whatever, and then we're gonna hit the back of the thigh. So hamstring, again, knee is bent, and you're just gonna start right underneath that knee again and just roll. And this one, um, you know, you can roll after a workout session. You can work or roll on your um, rest days too, but, after a workout it, it after a workout and after your stretch feels super super good so just kind of move around get up beneath underneath your um, glutes just anywhere you need it inner thigh okay now inner thigh you can do a couple different things you can come down on your back and just find where you need that rolling and just get right in there and roll all right so that's quad and hamstring now <clears throat> Ankle mobility is super important. Um, I have seen people have to go through ankle surgeries for different reasons, whether it was they had an accident or they just general arthritis. Um, lots of sprains, some breaks in your younger years can cause you a lot of issues in your later years. So ankle mobility is really important, but part of ankle mobility is also massaging out the calf muscles and um, the gastrocnemius muscle right through here is kind of sometimes a hard one to stretch um, in your regular stretching. So I love the roller to get right in to that gastrocnemius and you can feel it. So right underneath your calf here, when you start rolling, come kind of at an angle here and I can just feel it go over that muscle. It's like a little clump, a little bump. And the foot that I have more um, ankle issues in is definitely a tighter and more sore calf to roll out. So this is a phenomenal um, rolling technique to really get deep into that calf muscle, calf muscles. So yeah, so that is the rad roller. And that is just a few different rolls that you can do um, if you're suffering from IT band pain, um, knee tightness. I get, I used to not as much anymore, patellofemoral syndrome where my kneecap 
kind of gets pulled out to the side. So it was causing a lot of pain and irritation for a lot of years. Just really rolling out that outside thigh hip area. And just don't forget the calf. The calf gets so often um, missed and neglected and it really 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 needs to be rolled out and stretch so anyway hope you benefited from that and if you could please like my little blue rose page and comment if you have any questions or if you uh learned anything from this video so all right thanks